cafe terraces, busy streets, familiar scenes, but something's missing from the picture. As if airbrushed out, there are no women. In some of the outskirts of Paris, men have taken over public spaces, and women are putting up with it. To demonstrate the kind of reaction they get from men, they visit a local cafe with a hidden camera. Before they even get inside, their presence seems to disturb the other clients. There are only men in here, and they're not very welcoming. The bar owner doesn't want to talk. The other customers, meanwhile, are uncomfortable. For a woman, going into a bar here is breaking a taboo. Tu fais ça en Arabie Saoudite, tu dis ouais. Mais ça, on est en France. On est en train de dire ah mais tu te rends compte, il y a des femmes quand même qui ont été dans un café. So why are men rejecting women? It's a question of tradition, of culture, but also of religion. Their brand of Islam is a big mix of everything. It looks like the penal code now. Don't do this or that. This is forbidden, that is forbidden. Everything's forbidden. And yet we're in France. As we talk, a car slows down next to us. A way of intimidating these women that's become all too regular. They prefer to end the interview. Meanwhile, in the suburb of Lyon, women seem resigned to the situation. This kindergarten assistant does everything she can not to be noticed. We wear dark clothes, trousers, no skirts, no obvious makeup. Red lipstick is out of the question. We erase ourselves, try to be the most discreet possible. Why? Because we're scared, simple as that. Here in Rilieu la Pape, unemployment is at 20%. Shops are closed. Young men have the run of the area, and few women are in the streets. Our camera is not welcome. <laughs> <laughs>